Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of first impression and new makeup. So to start it on off, um, I will be demoing everything on my face, so let's get right into it. To start it all off, I used the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I got a little sample of this in my last, um, I believe, June Birch Box. And then I also used this Gimme Brow brow gel and I got this in a small benefit package that I purchased re re recently that I purchased and I did like these two the pencil however was a little red orange um, a little too uh, warm for my liking to be in my brows so I probably won't be purchasing this or using this again but I did really love this gel um, brow gel it was really nice and I've used it before and I do like it a lot but I know Essence has a cheaper version of that so I'll probably just be sticking to the Essence one instead of buying the Benefit one which is a lot more expensive and then I started off with my Take Me To Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics so the first color I went in with is the orange and I believe I used uh, a combination of these two oranges and I did end up going in with this NYX blush in um, Double Dare and that actually helped a lot better than the, these oranges. They didn't really show up too well and if they did show up they were a little transparent. Um, so I don't know if I like that but some of the other colors in this palette were really good but these two oranges weren't doing it for me. The next colors I went in with were um, yellows on the inner part of my lid. And I did use, let me see, I used this yellow mixed with this yellow. And this one was a little too uh, pale for me to use, so I just mixed those two and that worked really well. Um, I did actually really like those yellows. I haven't ever used a yellow eyeshadow before and um, they worked amazingly for me. So I did like those colors. The next shade that I used in the palette um, was these two purple colors. So I used this one mostly, and then to darken it up, I used this other purple that's just a little bit darker. And so those ones I just put on the outer corner, um, kind of to smoke it out. And I went for a sunset eye today, so that's what I was aiming for. So for the last color that I used, I used this white all over my brow bone and then for an inner corner highlight and I did really like that one. It was a little um, shimmery and I didn't think it was shimmery but it was. Um, but altogether, I really like this palette. I mean you can't go wrong with all these colors. Uh, this is like my first colorful palette I've ever owned. So to me... It's a really cool thing to start out with, and maybe, yeah, some of the shades aren't that great, like the orange, but the purple and the yellow, those were good shades. So I'm gonna have to play around with it a little bit more to get a full opinion. To get my full opinion on it, I will have to try um, a little more of the shades to be able to tell you guys if it actually is really good or really bad, but for now, I'm pretty satisfied with it, and I'll have to experiment a little bit more with it, this palette. So the next thing I used on my eyes was this e.l.f. Uh, gel eyeliner and it just comes in a little pot like this and I used it with a new um, pointed eyeliner pen and I just did a winged eyeliner with that and I really loved this. It was so creamy and easy to build up. It was very dark black and um, honestly a really good, just a really good gel eyeliner and I will be using it again. So for the face today, I went in with, um, where is it? I went in with my Smashbox primer and I did get this in a um, Birchbox 
I think my June Birch box I got this little sample in and I see the hype. It is honestly, it's so nice. It definitely vanishes pores. Um, I haven't, I can't attest to the longevity of it because I haven't really worn it that many times. I've worn it maybe two or three times before, but I do really love it for covering my pores. So I did like this one. And for my foundation today, I'm using the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation in the shade Nude Beige. And um, as you can tell when I'm applying this, it is a little too light for me. I don't know if I'm going to return it yet because I think it did oxidize on my skin and it looks fine now. But when I was putting it on, it was definitely too light. So I might be taking this back. But the formula is very, very nice. And I actually really liked it. It didn't dry out my skin. I have a um, combination oily slash dry skin it, it's both um, and it didn't dry out my skin and it didn't make me oily so I can't again I can't attest to the longevity of it but for now it feels very nice actually make feel, yeah it feels really nice on the skin um, I just might have to get a different color and for concealer today I use the Tarte Shape Tape the best concealer on YouTube um, and I'm finally getting to try it and I got it in light natural. Um, this might have been too light of a shade. As you can see when I'm blending it out, um, it is a little light. It goes with the um, foundation that I had on though, so I think it was fine. I might have to use it a couple more times, but um, I think I can return it at Ulta if it's not the right shade, so I might have to end up doing that. But this covered my dark circles. Oh my gosh, I loved it. And as you can tell, I'm putting it on in small patches because I heard that it does dry really fast. So I didn't want to have that problem happen to me. So I just blended it out with my um, with my Real Techniques sponge instead of putting it all over my face. I just did sections. And then to set my under eyes, I used my Cody Airspun powder. Um, this is what I always use. And I also use that to set my face. And then for contour, Today I used my e.l.f. contour palette. This is a new one to me. I just got it today, literally today. Um, and first I went in with these two bottom shades. And I think I tried to go in with just this one um, for the cheekbones. And that's what I did for the sides of my face. And that worked out pretty well. It is a little bit light for me, so I have to build it up. Um, I have, I would say, like medium tan skin tone. I'm not pale and I'm not deep dark. But I do have tan skin tone. and. A tan skin tone whatever and this um, was a little light for me but I can build it up and it works just the same so um, I did use these two I mixed in this is like the warmer shade for my temples and then for the sides of my nose I only used the dark one and for my Bronzer. I went in today with my Revolution Vivid Bake Bronzer in the shade Ready to Go. And honestly, looking at this in the pan, I didn't think it would be as rosy as it is. And you can tell when I put it on, it looks like a blush. So I might have to use this. Um, this might be better for no makeup days because it's a very bronzy blush shade. And when you swatch it, it looks it looks like it's just brown. It doesn't look like it's it's very rosy. Um, I mean, you can't tell that it's rosy, but when I put it on my face, it for sure is. Um, this might look better on darker skin tones and it won't look as rosy on you, but for me, um, I'd have to use it either very, very lightly as a bronzer or just put it blush bronzer all together on like no makeup days and that'll be like the only thing on my face. And for the cheeks today, I used my NYX, um... What's it called? Double Dare Blush. And this is a bright orange. Oh my gosh. As you can tell, I put way too much on in the beginning and I had to definitely um, blend it away. But um, this is so pretty. And I got this in my Ipsy box of July, actually, of this month. I got this in my Ipsy box. And it was really nice. Honestly, it was really nice. Honestly, um, I used it on my eyes too, and that turned out beautifully. So I think this is a great blush to add to your collection. I'll have to try out the other colors because this orange, it like matches my outfit today actually. Um, this orange was like, ooh, a little too bright for me. 
But if you use a little bit, honestly, it, it looks pretty nice. It's a nice summer blush. And lastly, I went in with this Cougar 24 hour lipstick. It came in this really cute packaging. And I got this in my Ipsy box bag for July this month. And it smells, honestly, it smells so good. I can't think of what it smells like. It smells like some candy. But um, this cracked and looks really kind of gross. So on that note, we're at the end of the video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today. As you can tell, we had some duds and we had some um, really good products here. So um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on the little bell notification and you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.